So, <clears throat> how do we convert grams to molar mole to grams? Well, <clears throat> this is our uh, magic uh, formula in chemistry. You're going to see this all the time. Mole equals mass in grams over molar mass, which is grams per mole. Okay? And this actually reminds me of a story. Uh, when I was younger, I was an Eminem fan. I love, I uh, still love rap music, but I really was into Eminem when he first started coming up. And uh, I remember my brother used to knock on the door every time I blasted the radio too loud. And uh, sure enough, I knew what it was, but I would still ask him, hey, what's, what's the problem? And then he used to tell me that my mother wanted me to lower the radio because mom is mad over Eminem. And that is a, is a pretty good way to remember the uh, sequence of the mole mass and molar mass formula. Because if you just plug in these guys, then you're going to know what it is every time. So Mama's Metal Remnant, uh, you're, you're going to be using that conversion um, throughout your career or your, uh, at least all the courses that you're taking chemistry. So molar mass over molar mass. Well, in that case, how many moles are in let's say 47 grams of oxygen gas or O2. Well, <clears throat> whenever you have a work problem, uh, write down what you're given first. You're given a mass, right, which equals 47 grams. And you're given the fact that this is uh, oxygen uh, gas O2 and you want to find moles. The fact that this is O2, can you look on the periodic table and um, write down any more information about it? Sure you can, because we know that the atomic weight of oxygen is 15.9994, so that the molar mass of oxygen must be 2 times 15.9994. How did I know that we were going to need molar mass? Well, I remembered our formula to convert moles, uh, or actually grams into moles, mole equals mass over molar mass. So if we want to find this guy here and we're given this, then of course the one that's left out is molar mass. We're going to have to calculate that. And that equals 2 times 15.9994, 31.9988. So if we have 31.9988 for our molar mass, and how many grams do we have? 47. We'll put the units in there, so just to be consistent. Um, what is our number of moles? Well, just divide the two. 47 divided by 31.9988, and I get, hopefully I don't make an error, 1.468805, and so on. 1.468805 mole. Now, let's, let, let's be careful here, because... If we're given the fact that this person weighed out only 47 grams, we're limited by the measuring device that they're using to what we're able to report. The rule of significant figure states that in a, divi in a division problem, we can't report more than the lowest number of significant figures of these two guys. In other words, 
this is two significant figures. This is one, two, three, four, five, six significant figures. So our answer has to be how many significant figures? Two. So we have to make this 1.5 if we really want to be or make sure we're on the money. Okay. Some professors might not get that nitpicky, but it's always better to be on the safe side. Let's try another one. What if you had uh, 6.7 grams of sulfuric acid, H2SO4, and you want to find out how many moles are in here. Well, again, you're going to use your magic formula, right? Mole equal mass over molar mass. Mom is mad over M&M. You're given the mass, which is 6.7 grams, that you can put in your in your given column, right? And if you need to find moles, well, you're actually given something else incognito. You're given the uh, molar mass of sulfuric acid, but you're going to have to calculate it. Right? So H2SO4, molar mass H2SO4 equals 2 times H, I'll write everything out, plus 1 times S, plus 4 oxygens, right? Let's look it up. 2 times 1.00794, Plus one sulfur, it's going to be around 35, if we're not mistaken. Oh, sorry, 32. 32.066. Goes to show you never try to memorize a periodic table. You should know how to use it. If you try to memorize all those numbers, you will make a mistake, like I just did. Because 35 is approximately uh, what uh, the atomic weight of chlorine, and that's none of this problem. Now you get the point. So what's oxygen? Oxygen is 15.9994 grams per mole. All right, let's multiply them out and then add them up. According to order of operations, right? Remember PEMDAS? 2 times 1.00794. I got 2.01588. One, two, three, four, five, okay. Six significant figures, that's okay. This one I'm just gonna bring down. And I'm gonna add that to four times 15.9994. And I'm gonna get 63.9994. Seven six grams per mole, and when I add all these guys up, let's see what I get. Two point. 01588 plus 32.066 plus 63.9976 equals, I get 98.07948. And let's be consistent with the rule of significant figures that states that we can only go to the thousands place. So this is going to become what? 98.079. But we're not done. That's just the molar mass of sulfuric acid. So now we got to plug that back into here. 98.079. I'm going to divide that into 6.7. And I get 0 0.0683. Let me try that again just to be sure. Point 
6.831 mole. But remember, this guy measured only 6.7 grams, and uh, his measuring device only went uh, two significant figures, which means that to report the actual number of moles, the only thing that we can be certain about is that we have 0 0.68 mole. Oh, I'm sorry, 0 0.068 mole, two significant figures here. That's our answer. So let's do uh, the reverse, right? How do you convert, um, or actually, how are you going to use converting moles to grams um, to find uh, how many grams you have? So how many grams in, let's say for the first one, 0 0.357 moles of NaCl, sodium chloride. No. Nope. Now we're given mole, 0 0.357, and we're also given molar mass from the periodic table. We just have to calculate it out. I think we did before. Let's just do it again. Na plus Cl. I'm not going to write this down. We just add it up. 22.989770 plus 35.4527 equals 58.44247. And uh, we're limited by the fact that chlorine only goes to the 10,000th place. So our answer for molar mass is going to be 58.4425 grams per mole because I got to round up. Now, for our mole equals mass over molar mass equation, okay, we have mole but we're looking for grams. So, let's solve for x. If we multiply it side by molar mass, all I'm doing is rearranging this formula a little bit. So what is mass equal now? Molar mass times mole. And uh, if you can remember that, that's fine too. So to solve for x or mass, mole times molar mass or molar mass times mole. All I did was rearrange our golden form a little bit. I just brought uh, molar mass to the left side by multiplying each side by molar mass. So let's just plug this back into our original um, our original problem. Uh, what were those values here? Let's see. Yeah, we had the number of moles is 0.357 and molar mass is 58.4425. Is that right? Let's double check that. 0.357, Yeah. So with that, we can now determine the number of grams in that many moles of sodium chloride.
twenty point eight six three nine seven. Or since we're multiplying and these are three significant figures, let's be consistent. That's twenty point nine grams. Right. That's how you do it.